Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines, better known as the one-handed mechanic. If I can do it, you can too. We have here today a Husqvarna Z25 Ford. That is a 26 horsepower, 54 inch cut. It has a Kohler 7000 series engine on it. And we're gonna show you how to operate it today. First thing I wanna show you, this is the engine. It's a twin cylinder, 26 horsepower Kohler. Okay, you wanna make sure you check your oil here. You just wanna pull the dipstick out and make sure you're in between the two dots, between the full and the, the bottom dot there. That's good to go. This is very clean, we just changed the oil. You lift the seat up right here. And underneath, which is tucked away back here, this is the battery. Okay, make sure your terminals are tight. Just, just give it a heads up. If you ever have a problem starting it, make sure your terminals are tight. This is the original battery in here. Um, they seem to last a few years, but you're not going to get a whole lot of life out of them because they are making these batteries a little cheaper to give you a little price difference, a little price, a little cheaper price on, on the machine itself. But just keep that in mind. Okay, we have the up and down for the mower deck here. Okay, so you have your different heights adjustments over here. On the other side, we have how to operate it here. We have your ignition switch. We have your PTO, this is your power takeoff for your mower deck. We have an hour meter, which is nice. We have your choke and we have your throttle here. I also want to show you if you ever need to have parts ordered for the machine that we have the sticker. They kind of hide it away underneath on the frame rail, but the sticker is right here. You just want to make sure you have the model and serial number when you order them online and you can order them online and away you go. As far as operating it, we're gonna go ahead and start it up. Okay, you have to have your handles all the way in the out position, okay? And these are a little tricky. They have very sensitive switches inside here. If you don't have these handles all the way out, it will not start. So make sure it's all the way out. Make sure you're sitting on it because when you push the handles out, it's also putting your brake on. So that's a safety feature. You gotta have them all the way out. And then you're gonna come over to your throttle. I usually start at about maybe quarter to halfway. I wouldn't go any, any more above that. Depending on how cold it is, you wanna let your machine warm up a little bit. Pull the choke all the way up. And then you have your ignition switch here. So you're just gonna turn it to the crank position. And then as soon as it starts up, I'm gonna shut it down. I just wanna show you. This one also has a headlight. I noticed when I turned the key back one notch, it went to the headlights. Some of these may have the headlights, some of this doesn't. This one does not have headlights because it actually has a bagger, which is, the, this is a metal plate right here, so it doesn't have the headlights on it. Uh, so just keep that in mind. When you turn the ignition off, to the off position, you may come across the headlight right there. So you're just gonna have to come two clicks to turn it off. Now, as far as getting this thing operating and turning the PTO on, I wanna show you that these handles are a little tricky. When you have the engine running, if you only bring in one handle, it's gonna shut your machine down. If you only bring in the other handle, it's gonna shut your machine down. What you have to do is you have to bring both these handles in at the same time so it doesn't shut the machine down. It's a safety feature. The customer who owns this was questioning why his machine was shutting down. It's because if you don't bring them in equally, then they it will shut down on you. All right, I'm gonna actually lower the mower deck a couple notches before we turn that on. I'm gonna go down to about the three position here. I'm going to start it back up again. So again, half throttle, the quarter throttle, half throttle, choke up, crank it. Make sure your handles are all the way out in the brake position. Now, I'm going to show you, you bring in one handle, it shuts it down. So you bring in one handle, it'll shut down. You bring in the other handle, it shuts down. you got to bring them in both at the same time. Yeah. Now you're good to go forward, backwards, and you left, right.
pretty much how to operate it. I do want to show you one thing as far as if this does not go, like when you go forward and your handlebars are all the way forward at the same time, it should track pretty straight. If it doesn't track straight, then you have adjustments here and one over here. And you basically turn them in or out to adjust your your tracking and it's it's not too hard to do once you figure it out you probably you may have to go into the manual but basically it just has on these it has little a little arrow here kind of hard to see okay so it has the rabbit and turtle here and basically what they're saying is if you turn this bolt clockwise it's going to go slower which means that all this is is a bolt that actually keeps this this handlebar from coming more forward so when you when you're in your forward position by turning this in it will slow down this left side which will compensate for the other side it's kind of hard to explain unless you're actually on the machine running it but if you if you're turning like if you want this to slow down which means that the left is not going to be pulling as hard you're going to you're going to have actually have it would be the problem where it's turning right too hard and then you're going to make this go slower and then it'll actually slow this side down so it'll actually turn the other direction. It's hard to explain but these are your adjusters. There's one on one side, one on the other to, to how to get this, this machine to track straight. You're just going to have to play with this adjustment. It's slow and fast. It's pretty much you just get on the machine, you crank this in or out and you're going to feel which way you're going and then you, you adjust accordingly. And that's pretty much it as far as that adjustment goes. Okay, so one more thing I did want to show you guys is that if you need to push your machine, like right now, you can't push it, okay? It's locked in. Well, there's two reasons for that. You have hide your release valves that you have to pull out on the, the rise down below, and I'll show them to you in a second. And then uh, the handles here. Now, on this particular machine, the handles being all the way out is your brakes on, okay? And that also will allow you to get off the machine if the, if the engine's running with the PTO in the off position. But the rods we have to pull to push this machine are down below. There's one down here on the right side. You're just gonna pull it out and there's a little bit of a lip here. So when you pull it out, you're just gonna set it like that. That'll put it, that transmission in neutral. And when you wanna go back into gear again, you just push them in like that. So you pull that out, put that in neutral, come around to your left side. And your left side has the same rod. You're gonna pull this out. It has a little bit of a you know, your edge on there, your little collar, you're gonna lock that in. And then you have to come up to your handlebars and you're gonna pull your handlebars in all the way. Okay, now, now the brakes should be off and we should technically be able to move this thing by hand, okay? It's a heavy machine, so it's gonna be a little bit hard, but it's freewheeling right now. The transmissions are not locked in. Now, just remember when you go to start it and run it again, you're gonna pull the handles up down here and your right transmission, push it in. And you go to your left transmission, pull up on the lever, push it in, and then you have to make sure that you are out in the neutral positions for both of these handles so you can actually run the machine. Now it'll start up and run. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. As always, appreciate you watching my videos. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked the video. Please subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.